Who would have thought a kid from Regalwood, North Carolina, by the way, a Wilmington, North Carolina, would make it to the big league? Our newest franchise, the Atlanta Dream, select Tamara Young from James Madison University. Back. Tie for three. Oh, yes, she did. You don't see that often, tie with the three. Colson over to Ty Young. Nailed it. Oh, really, y'all don't know this, y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. Careful with your life. April 9, 2008, I was drafted to the Atlanta Dream, first round, eighth pick overall. As a kid, people told me I wouldn't make it to the WNBA going to a mid-major school. I knew if I was good enough, they would find me. My rookie year started off great. I was starting, I was playing significant minutes. At the time, I was a third-ranked rookie with my scoring and with my ability. Then later, you know, there was a veteran player who was not fond of the time that I was getting. And my coach came to me one day before practice and told me, you're a rookie and you may not understand, but I'm going to have to cut some of your minutes and you will have to come off the bench. I was distraught coming from being a star in college, coming from being drafted the first pick ever to the Atlanta Dream, playing significant minutes, playing freely. I didn't know what to do. Fast forward. I still ended up having a great rookie season. Not at the top as I wanted, but it was still great. August 12th, 2009, I was traded to the Chicago Sky. A day, I remember, I was driving to the mall and my coach called me as I was in the car driving. Said, hey, it's Marinelle. I just traded you to the Chicago Sky. And I'm like, what? As I was trying to be traded before to the Detroit shop, she told me she wasn't trading me. So that caught me by surprise. And I was really disturbed at that time. But later, it ended up being one of the best things to happen to me with my career. I played eight and a half years in Chicago. At the time, I was the longest tenure player for the Chicago Sky, one of the fan favorites. It became like a second home to me. While playing for Chicago in 2015, we made it to the WNBA Finals. One of the best experience in my WNBA career. July 31st, 2017, I was traded back to the Atlanta Dream. At the time, I didn't understand. I was having one of my best seasons with the Chicago Sky, averaging 10.2 points. My assists were up. I thought I was playing well. Um, I guess my coach thought it would be best for me to go back to the Atlanta Dream, in which, as I was traded back, I set the bench. And it was not one of the best <laughs> times in my career for me. Following the end of my season in Atlanta in 2017, we got a new coach. She contacted me about reaching out to send a new contract, in which, when the time came, she never did. February 1st, 2018, I signed as a free agent to the Las Vegas Aces, a new team who were prior the San Antonio Stars, a new coach, Bill, and a new city, I felt was one of the best decisions for continuing my career. At the time when I signed with the Las Vegas Aces, I signed a two-year deal. I knew we were a young team, but I knew we were talented enough to, at some point, fight for a championship. I felt that I would be retiring in Las Vegas. I envisioned ending my career there. When I wasn't invited back to the bubble, it was a surprise to me. After my two year deal in Las Vegas, when I had my exit meeting, they asked if I wanted to come back. I told them I did. I had another meeting and I was waiting for them to send a contract in which they never did. February 16th, 2020. I was on my way to my double dutch competition and they called and said they didn't have a spot for me on the team. I went into depression. I was lost. I didn't understand after having a conversation of coming back. I didn't know if I was good enough anymore. I didn't know what to expect. Here I am without being on a team, still training every day. I signed a deal with Reebok as a Reebok athlete in 2021. 
I've always dreamed of having a shoe deal. 12 years in the league, I never got one. Then I signed with Reebok and later I signed a deal with the Seattle Storm. Not knowing when I signed that deal, it was just a training camp contract. But for whatever it's worth, it turned out to be a great experience for me. It showed me that all the doubt that I had of maybe not being good enough anymore, I really was. There's no way you could have told me there's 144 girls better than me. But I still went to Seattle and found peace after they waved me in being who I am and knowing in my heart that I'm still good enough. Being in Seattle during training camp, I was able to get to a place where I had a peace of mind with basketball, where I had closure to be more at a place that I knew it was time to go to my next endeavors. When I was in college, I always said I wanted to play at least 10 years in the WNBA and leave healthy. Here I am, a 12 year veteran and still healthy. After playing 12 seasons in the league, leaving healthy, signing a sneaker deal, I would like to officially announce my retirement from the WNBA. I would not have made it this far without the love and support from my family, my mother making the sacrifices she made as a kid, my brother teaching me the game of basketball, and my sister giving up basketball so I can continue to pursue my dreams. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my auntie who always took me to the WNBA games as a kid that inspired me. I would like to thank all of my coaches who guided me and helped me throughout my career, all the way from Girls Inc. up to the WNBA. I would like to thank my trainers and the people behind the scenes, my agents, William, Mike, Tom, and Tisha. Thank you. A note from my mother when I told her I was retiring. You never got the chance of a ring, all-star, etc. but God has still been there with you. I'm kind of emotional on your retirement but yet so grateful. So many great memories, so much travel I've experienced, just so much that people around me would never experience. You've always remembered your mom and John, and that's a great feeling. Keep striving for your next chapter. I'm ready. I know God has a lot more for you to do, and I'm looking forward. Thank you, mom. The best ever. Stay tuned to see what's next for Ty. T-Swaggy, T-Young.